two, one, charge! Everybody moving to start this match out. Apex we know likes to come to a late start. Bare Metal with a little wiggle and a waggle. They're gonna see if they can get their shot off in position. Bare Metal up and good! That'll give the Blue Alliance a 10 point advantage as the drivers step up to the controls. Blue Alliance pulled off the win in the first match. They're gonna see if they can pull off the upset and take it all. Skunkworks in the low goal, IRS in the high goal, and the Blue Alliance advantage cut to five points. 13-18 flying over the rock wall, one direction, then the other, no problem. 1983 through the mo uh, the ramparts. 2046, another high goal. 13-18, no good. They're being hassled by the storm bots. And those teams are now a bit entangled. They'll sort it all out and keep moving. 57 to 49, the Blue Alliance advantage as 13-18 lines up for another shot, up and in. 2046 moving into position, 58 3 having some trouble with the rock wall. 1983, Skunkworks gonna try to find the logo, Bare Metal looking high, and no good for 2046, as it is now a one point lead for the Blue Alliance, 62 to 61, make that 67 to 66. Both alliances on the verge of the breach, won't take long now. 1983 going back to see if they can disrupt the 2046 scoring effort as the 1318 puts one high. Bare Metal forced to go for the logo with the Skunk Works interference, and it is now all tied up at 71. Check that, Blue Lions jumps into the lead with a breach. Red Alliance will breach theirs and then shortly, probably, just a Cheval de Freeze crossing needed. 13-18 in possession of a boulder, they're headed back, 24-11 doing the same. The Rebel Alliance gonna see, losing their boulder on the way through the low bar. They'll see if they can come back and collect it. 13-18 over the rock wall. They're trying to get into position for another shot. It is a 100 to 71 advantage for Blue. Large part of that based on the breach for Blue that has not yet occurred for Red. Both towers at one strength as we have just 32 seconds remaining. 1983 now headed back to their, to their opponent's courtyard. Try to continue to the scoring. Bare Metal finds the low goal. 1983 completes the breach for Red. 102 to 101 in favor of Blue. Very, very close. Each alliance with a robot capable of scaling. We'll see what happens as we hit the last 15 seconds. 13-18 puts one up high, then vacates for Skunkworks. Apex able to climb. IRS looking to get into position. Skunkworks, can they get there? Four seconds now. Three, two, one! It does not get much better than that at the end of a match. Everybody home, both towers weakened. One robot in the air on each alliance. We're gonna check our final scores and we're gonna see what this all means. Ladies and gentlemen, head referee Nathan Lose has concerned the final score for this match. An extremely close match, only a six point differential, and by far the highest combined total on the day, over 300 points combined between the two alliances. By a final tally of 158 to 152, the victory in this match to the Red Alliance! With that, we 